Hi, Tom. I thought the easiest way would be for me to make a quick video to show you what I'm struggling with or not understanding. I'm from a Revit background and I'm trying the software out. There's some things I really like about the software and I, th I almost think it's better for residential architecture than Revit. Here's what I'm struggling with at the moment if you can maybe help me. So I'm just going to go there. It's just a normal floor from north to uh, ground floor from north to three meters. Just going to go there. Uh, grab it. There and there. So I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm going to go there and I want to add. So what I want to do is I want to add. I want to add a room on the side, whatever that may be, and that must be a meter higher than the rest of the ground floor. So, I don't quite understand what that absolute minus three, what that means. So let's make that, I can't actually make that naught. Okay, so here I'm going to say one meter above base level. So that works. No. It, may, it, it, it said a, a meter plus that 350, so I'm not understanding what that is and how that works. But now, that also has to be a meter higher than that. So I want to go, uh, if the other one is 3 meters high, I want this one to be 4 meters in height. When I do that, it says 2.4 there. So it did go up on that side. And... So I'm not quite understanding how this works and what these numbers are if I'm clicking. Then the other thing that I'm not quite sure is if I click there and I go there and I say, okay, I want that up to four meters. It only brings up the outer skin. So if I go there, it only brings up the outer skin. Now, if it brought up both brick skins, that would be a solution for me. So these are the, just the things I'm struggling with at the moment. So the, the way I want to draw this is that this, is, this roof is also higher than that roof. So there's a roof over this and that there's just a meter difference. So that's what I'm struggling with. If you can maybe give me a pointer or two, that would be great. I looked in the, there's a manual from 2013, which has got split levels, but I'm still not getting it. Uh, Todd, thank you so much. Hope this works.